The Twilight Forest mod. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it in Minecraft 1.19.2. Let's just jump on into it. First things first, you'll need to download it. You can find the Twilight Forest mod linked at the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. And once you are here, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section. Once you're under that, you'll see MC 1.19.2 Twilight Forest. Click on the orange download button to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. While it's downloading, how about a miss from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much that we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, once Twilight Forest is downloaded, you may need to keep it in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen almost like a Firefox. 100% safe to keep it or save it as long as Twilight Forest is in the title, which it is in our case. Now we then need to move on to downloading Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows the Twilight Forest mod to actually work in Minecraft. In the description down below, you'll find a link to download Forge, and that will actually take you to our in-depth text tutorial for getting Forge. But once you're here, go and click on the green Download Forge button. That'll take you to Forge's official download page where you want to make sure MC 1.19.2 is here. If it's not, you can click on the left-hand side, select 1.19, then 1.19.2 to make the Minecraft 1.19.2 version of Forge here. Next up, we want to go over to the download recommended version of Forge here and click on the installer link. Then it takes off to add focus. We're stopped. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Don't click a single thing on this page. Just wait about 10 seconds. And then after about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear right up here in the top right. Click this red skip button in the top right and Forge will immediately download in the bottom left. As you can see in the bottom left, it says Forge 119.2. That means you're safe to keep this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox. Forge in the title, you are good to go. Nevertheless, we can now minimize our browser. Let's go ahead and move Twilight Forest and Forge to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. And in here, you'll find Twilight Forest and Forge. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. There we go. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and start off by installing Forge. To do that, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or I do have Java but my icons are broken. Well, if either of those are the case, you don't have these icons or you don't have Java there, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to open up Minecraft mods and Forge specifically for Minecraft mods. So we have a complete guide in the description down below on how to do that. In-depth article, in-depth video, doesn't matter which format you prefer, we've got you covered. And this video, an article goes over everything in depth. Now, once you do have Java 17, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work perfectly together. But it is worth noting that you have to get Java 17 before running the jar fix, otherwise it won't work. Now, unless we can minimize our browser here, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system install for Forge, where all you want to do is click Install Client and click OK. This is going to download, install, get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.19.2, so we can then install the Twilight Forest mod. The only reason Forge won't install here is for three reasons, actually. One is that you've never played Minecraft 1.19.2 before. If that's the case, go play it, come back, this will work. The other two are that you have either Minecraft open or you have the Minecraft launcher open. If that's the case, close out of both of those, come back, and then this will work. Finally, though, go ahead and click OK, close out of that, and then we can delete Forge from our desktop. Let's go ahead and install Twilight Forest. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and in the Minecraft launcher, we want to select the Forge profile. Now, for me, it's probably going to be selected by default, but if it's not for you, I will show you how to select it. So as you can see, there's Forge. It's 119.2. We can click play, click play again. But if you don't have Forge here, you can probably select it by clicking that arrow. But if you still don't have Forge 1.19.2, click on installations at the top. Then you want to make sure mod is checked. You can see we uncheck modded, Forge disappears, check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge, Click on new installation. You can do whatever you want. I'm actually going to name it Twilight Forest because why not, right? Twilight Forest 1.19.2. And then we want to click the version drop down here. In this version drop down, you want to select release 1.19.2 Forge, right? So you want to select that. Once you've got 1.19.2 dash Forge selected, you can change the resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing this so we can see what we get in game. Click create in the bottom right. And then we have this new Twilight Forest installation with Forge underneath it. That's the important part. Hover over this, click play, click play again. And now it's going to launch Minecraft with Forge installed. For some of you, you'll be picking up right now because it is time to
to install some Twilight Forest, let's go ahead and do that. So here we are, Minecraft is open with Forge, and from there we can click on Mods and then Open Mods Folder. Then just drag and drop Twilight Forest into this Mods Folder. But let's do that again because it was a little fast. Once Minecraft's open with Forge, click on Mods and then click Open Mods Folder in the bottom left. It's going to open up your Mods Folder where all you need to do is drag and drop Twilight Forest from your desktop into the Mods Folder. Now we come back into Minecraft, Twilight Forest is in here. It's not going to be here until you click Done and quit the game. We then want to reopen up Minecraft, again paying special attention that we're opening Minecraft with Forge. So as you can see here, we have Minecraft open. We can go ahead and make sure that we are opening Minecraft with Forge. There it is. Boom. We can either use the Forge that's there or the Twilight Forest, doesn't matter which. Click Play, click Play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up with the Twilight Forest mod installed. It also may take a little longer than normal to open up Minecraft once you have Twilight Forest than it does without it. That's because this is a pretty intensive mod. Adds in a completely new world to Minecraft, so yeah. It's also cool that Twilight Forest is on 1.19.2. A lot of times big mods like this end up getting stuck on a version, so props to them for updating it. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on mods. There it is, the Twilight Forest mod. It is in beta, by the way, so do keep that in mind. I wouldn't run this on a world you plan on keeping forever. Play Twilight Forest on a world, enjoy it, but it could have issues in the future. Just know that. But nonetheless, Twilight Forest, and then go into Creative. Oh, something I actually do want to mention here before we, we do this. If you do decide to play this on a different world, you can actually come in here and click Make a Backup all the time. Do it frequently on your Twilight Forest world. That way, you... uh don't have any issues, right? If you if you do have a do have an issue with Twilight Forest eventually, for whatever, having some issues. So nonetheless, we're now loading in with the Twilight Forest mod. Before I pick back up, I'll go ahead and make a portal, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so here we go. We have created a Twilight Forest portal. Well, almost. To do this, you simply make a grass square. I think this is going to be a four by four grass square. You put water in the middle, and then you put dandelions. Right like so, and poppies in the corners. Then throw a diamond in, and when you do that, boom, there you go. Lightning strikes it, and you have a portal to the Twilight Forest. This is a completely new, basically, world that you can explore. It's got custom biomes, as you can see, but one of the cool things about it is it also has, let's go ahead and set the time today, custom mobs and custom loot and all sorts of stuff. It is so Cool. There are boss battles in here. I believe there might be actually a boss on, uh, on in, in these towers here. I mean, so cool. One of the coolest mods out there, and I'm so happy they're keeping it up to date to newer Minecraft versions because it is not uncommon, like I said, to find awesome Minecraft mods that are not kept up often. If we go into creative here, will this, uh, will this spawn? Boom, there we go. The Twilight Lich. Look at that. Wow. And as you can see, this actually has uh, quite a bit of health. It is actually not even letting me attack it in creative. So some of these bosses, you do have to have custom things to be able to attack, all sorts of stuff. It, it, it really is crazy. Some of the stuff that is in the Twilight Forest mod. One of them is a, a massive snake that I've uh, encountered before and let's play I did literally almost 10 years ago at this point. And man, is it difficult to uh, take care and uh, and to beat some of the bosses in the Twilight Forest. But nonetheless, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. You now know how to get the Twilight Forest mod in Minecraft 1.19.2. One of the best mods in Minecraft, in my opinion. Oh, by the way, some of these biomes have really good resources too, so keep that in mind. But nonetheless, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.